Hey and J-Babes, we're back with another Sage Soap Sunday. We are super excited to announce that you can now purchase these beautiful soaps and more at sagesoaps.com. The link is in the description. Today we are making an aloe vera soap. Okay guys, so let's get into making this aloe vera soap. So this process is going to be different from all the other processes that you usually see us use when making our soaps. Um... Here, I'm going to be using aloe vera chunks, and as you can see, it's 100% aloe vera. Um, I got this from Whole Foods. Um, I'm pretty sure you can probably find them in like any local uh, supermarket, but sometimes when you get frozen stuff, it has additives. You wanna make sure that you get something that is just pure aloe vera. So here I am measuring out the aloe um, into this container we're going to blend this up the aloe vera is frozen and um it's frozen because we're going to be adding lye to it and we um, want a frozen mixture so that the lye doesn't heat up too much um so here you can see me blending into uh this is a, a ninja i'm blending the aloe together and then I had to move over to a larger blender because that blender was too small. Um, so we're gonna blend into there smooth and then we're gonna go ahead and pour it out into our bowl to make sure that we have the right amount. I added a little bit of water and now we're measuring out our lye. Um, so we're measuring out our lye into another container and then we're gonna go ahead in and slowly pour our lye into our um, aloe vera mixture. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pour, start pouring our lye into our aloe vera mixture. As you can see, it still looks chunky, but that's just ice. Um, it's not actual aloe vera chunks. You don't want those in your soap. Um, so we're going to go ahead in and slowly mix in our lye. When I say slow, I mean slow. Um, so this process took probably about 25 minutes to do. And the reason why you do it slow is because if you pour all that lye into this, um, aloe vera mixture is just going to destroy all the properties of the lye it's basically like gonna um, scorch it it's gonna turn like really 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 dark brown and it's gonna smell bad and then you can't use it in your soap uh, so um, it takes time but it, it's worth it in the end because you get a beautiful soap at the end of it Okay, so here you can see me putting um, the lye and aloe vera mixture into a ice bath. And the reason why I did that was because um, it was heating up a little bit. Even though I was adding it very slow, um, it started to heat up and I didn't want it to heat up. So to stop it from getting too hot, um, you just go ahead and put it in an ice bath. Um, and the color has changed, but that's not because it's brown. That's just because um, lye changes the color of the aloe. Um, as you can see here, I'm using an infrared thermometer. It's at 110 degrees. Um, it's going to go down to about 100. And that's, that's a perfect temperature for um, a lye solution. So that's uh, the last bit of our lye. And we're going to go ahead and stir and then... Um, we're going to add our lye solution to our oils, as you can see here. So after our lye is poured into all of our oils, we're gonna go ahead in with our stick blender and we're going to stick blend until we start to see um, a trace. 
and all the oils that are floating on top are fully incorporated into um, the batter. All right, so as you guys can see, we have reached a trace. We are emulsified, and I'm gonna go ahead and with some indigo oil. I pre-mix my indigo in a light oil so that it evenly disperses within the soap batter. Um, and as you can see, it's giving it a nice pastel-y green color, um, which I think mimics aloe. So I'm really happy with the way this soap color has turned out. All right, so all of our color is in, and now we're gonna go in with a fragrance oil. Um, and we're gonna pour this fragrance oil in, and then we're gonna stick blend for a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and pour into our soap molds. All right guys, so all of our batter is now poured into our soap molds and I'm gonna go in with my long spoon and texture the tops. I'm using like an angle. I'm going in at an angle to texture the tops. Um, and yeah, it, it turned out really pretty. I really like the way the soap turned out and we're gonna go ahead and continue to texture and then we're gonna let our soap sit overnight for 18 to 24 hours. And then we're gonna come back and cut them the next day. Okay guys, so it is the next day and look at these soaps. They are just so beautiful. We're gonna unmold them and then we are going to cut them. And we're gonna let them dry or cure. So curing means when you let the, um, the water dry out of them so that when you use them, the bar soap lasts longer. Um, but look how pretty these soaps are.